Well, in political news, both Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump have been focused on the economy this week, with Harris unveiling her economic plan on Friday. Both candidates have planned rallies in the battleground state of Pennsylvania this weekend. Christian Benavidez joins us live from Miami, Florida with the latest. Christian. Good morning, Elaine and Jenna. Well, look, the most recent polling out of Pennsylvania has uh, Trump edging out Harris by just a single point. That means that this race is essentially tied well within the margin of error. Now, Trump is there campaigning today, and Harris kicks off a bus tour of the state tomorrow. In North Carolina Friday, Vice President Kamala Harris outlined an ambitious economic plan in her first policy speech since jumping so into the presidential race. To start together, we will build what I call an opportunity economy. On the housing affordability crisis, Harris is calling for the construction of 3 million new homes, proposing a tax break for builders, and giving up to $25,000 in down payment assistance for some first time home buyers. We will end America's housing shortage by building 3 million new homes and rentals. Harris called for a federal ban on price gouging on groceries and other goods. Former President Trump said the proposals amount to price fixing. At a press conference Thursday, he blamed Harris and Democratic legislation for rising costs. Now Kamala is reportedly proposing communist price controls. She wants price controls. And if they worked, I'd go along with it too, but they don't work. The vice president is also calling to expand the child tax credit to families with newborns to $6,000. Last week on Face the Nation, Republican VP hope J.D. Vance also called for expanding the child tax credit to 5000 We want to have a more... Now back to the Harris campaign. They tell CBS News that any additional cost to the budget would come from higher taxes for corporations and the wealthy. Ladies. All right, Christian, thank you. And CBS News New York will have full coverage of the DNC, which begins on Monday. Jessica Moore will have live reports from Chicago, and political reporter Marcia Kramer will be here with analysis.